Okay, so today at the Bosque, we're doing a little bit of seed collecting. Um, I have a chili coyote here that we're going to machete and um, collect some seeds from and then cook it with some lentils. Uh, we have an acorn squash that we're also going to uh, collect seeds from. And then an unknown, um, this one's actually dried. And so we're gonna collect the seeds from this and mark them as that. Uh, we also have super, super spicy peppers that we're gonna use gloves to collect some seeds. I can't remember the name of these peppers, but it can be added to the video later. They're super, super spicy, don't touch, and um, don't then touch your face at all after them. So that's our plan for the day. So we have de-seeded the chili coyote. It looks like this. And now we're going to um, put it on a chopping board and peel it and then add it to some lentils and see how it tastes because I have yet to try other than um, there was some in some kimchi that didn't work out. So I haven't tried the chili coyote yet. And we this is the amount of seeds in one chili coyote, which we will save, whoops, and it will get replanted. <laughs> Okay, so we have taken all of the seeds out of the fruits, um, and this one is the chili coyote seeds, and we are leaving them in the sun a little bit to um, dry, and then we will put them in bags and put them in the seed cabinet. These ones here are the really, really spicy pepper seeds, and I wore gloves to do that because I just didn't want to deal with the potential of accidentally touching my face and having that oil get on me. So I can't remember the name of the pepper, but it's hotter than a habanero is my understanding. Super hot, spicy seeds. And these ones here are from the acorn squash, some of which actually sprouted. So I took the ones that sprouted, and actually I see another one, um, and I'm putting them in a, in a cabinet that's shady and cool, and potentially we'll just plant those out because they've already started. I think if we left them in the sun, they would die instead of drying for a potential seed growth later. And then the, this is the unknown dry squash. And it seemed kind of moldy when I opened it up. So I put it in the sun and whether it will sprout or be viable seed, I don't know. But I know that sun kills mold. So I thought leaving it in the sun would be a good idea.